Hi, Rita here with some more ramblings of an enhanced muscular female. Do women need post-cycle therapy and uh, po uh, PCT? So I've had this question a couple times recently, so I just figured I'd throw out my opinion. Um, here's a, in general, real quick, general overview of how this works, right? So um, when you take testosterone, um, your testosterone rises, right? Estrogen bond, uh, binds to testosterone in order to turn it into more estrogen. Um, and so when you increase your, your testosterone, your estrogen will increase with it and uh, keep turning it into more, well, because it's turning it into more estrogen. And so in a guy, um, when he stops taking his testosterone, all of a sudden the testosterone is gone and the estrogen is still sitting up here. And so that's why they need to do a PCT, post-cycle therapy um, protocol, in order to get that estrogen back down. Now, you need to be careful. You don't want to overdo it because even guys need some estrogen in their system, just like women have some testosterone in their system. And, um, uh, and if you get rid of too much of your estrogen, it actually can make you weaker, tired feeling, really run down. So you got to be careful. You don't want to get rid of all of it, um, male or female. But um, there's a couple different kinds. You got Novidex. Something like Novidex is a um, estrogen inhibitor. Uh, it's a blocker. And so something like that I would suggest taking during the cycle because it stops. What it does is it blocks the estrogen from latching onto the testosterone in the first place. Um, but if you've already gotten so much estrogen in your system, your estrogen level is really high, maybe causing you issues, then you might need something like what I call an estrogen killer and that would be like a Rimidex, um, Letro, um, something along that lines, and just kind of clip it out. Just remember, again, don't overdo it. You need some estrogen. Women need more, but um, everybody needs some estrogen in their system, so be careful. Um, so, uh, women, uh, so, so, uh, yeah, as far as women go, um, the only thing that, because I've always been the opinion that we didn't need it, you know, we're women, we have estrogen in our system anyway, we can handle it, but what happens with women is what I call a hormone crash, and that's where you kind of go from this even cool, even kill cool dude personality to all of a sudden crying over tampon commercials, and that's not cool. It's not comfortable, but I personally can't stand it. And, um, and but it was something you just, you just dealt with until I was finally told, instructed by a coach to do a post cycle, and it was just HCG. So, for you ladies, if you, um, I would suggest trying, and I'm not talking about if you're doing antivar, I'm talking about if you're doing something that's going to raise your testosterone, um, you would uh, try some HCG. Now, if you're doing a smaller so cycle, smaller, a smaller kind of, um, smart <laughs> cycle um maybe something along the lines of you know hcg comes in these little vials they're typically 5,000 um micrograms in each little vial now i've seen prescription ones that have 10,000, but i think typically you'll find them coming in 5,000. but anyway um uh something along the lines of like 5,000 the first week and then 2500 micrograms for the next two weeks each of the next two weeks, I think that that would probably be okay if you do a bigger cycle, um, which I have. And so I'm just giving my experience with it. I was told to do more along the lines of 10,000 the first week, 5,000 for two weeks after that, and then 2,500 for two weeks after that. Um, and basically all it's doing is getting your hormones back to its normal level. Okay. Um, now, in case you're not aware. So let's just say you're a female kind of doing some research and you're listening to my video and um, uh, you know, you've got the whole testosterone thing down. You know how to, you know how to read the lines on the, on the syringe for milliliters and all that kind of business. These are a little bit different, right? So um, the HCG comes in a little bottle of powder and the powder's not loose. So it's kind of soft. It'll be like in a solid kind of form in there. And you're going to add back stereostatic water to it. That's sterile water. And how much water you add to this bottle determines how many units are in it. It's 5,000 micrograms, but that means that if you were to add one milliliter, one cc of water to this bottle, then one cc is going to be 5,000, 5,000 micrograms units. If you were to use, add two milliliters, two cc's to this bottle, now one cc is only 2,500, both cc's are 5,000. Okay, so it depends on the water you put in there. There's 5,000 micrograms in there. However much water you put in there, 
is that whole thing is going to be whatever those micrograms are and you got to kind of do the math on it so be careful um i think you can do it uh um subcutaneous or intramuscular i do it intramuscular and um i just use a insulin pen but um and i would get one of the ones that are cc's not the not the 0.33 or 0.3 whatever little small ones are um just because it's kind of easier and not have to do so many shots so um if you have any questions uh boss.bitch.x that's my instagram uh you could uh, post it to this video i'll answer or if you know me on facebook you can reach out to me that way um if i don't know you i'm not going to answer the the facebook messages i don't work that way so um, Instagram or responding on this is probably the best way um, to get through to me um, and uh, yeah good luck so if you have any questions let me know um, and otherwise good luck and I will talk to you again soon